Hello everyone, this is Z66 or Zakai, your underpaid, undertrained, underinsured mechanic, and I hope you enjoy the upcoming video. And feel free to take a moment to look around the channel while you're here. I hope you enjoy my videos. I do a little bit of everything. Automotive repair, tools, which is, you know, like my premature evaluation series, my full review series of Ride the Pony reviews, along with tool recovery, where I go to repair broken or damaged tools, anatomy of failure, what I discuss failures in a system and go over them. And, of course, my new series of World of Finance, where I talk about, you know, fun things like financing guns and general financial information. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe at the bottom. And remember, I can't pay for these Ray-Bans without your help. Goodbye. Hello, everyone. This is C66, and we're doing a specialty socket. Which, arguably, you can get away with not using this with a 36 millimeter socket. But let me go ahead and talk about this. This is Lyle number 13250 oil pressure socket switch. And if you have a GM engine since basically the 90s up to now, they use the socket on top of the motor. And you can get it to it without taking your intake and everything off, but I gotta do that all on my truck anyway. So I'm gonna show you using this video to replace it. My pressure switch is actually working just fine. Knock on wood, considering that they're notorious for kind of failing. I'm going to clean it up though. But I got this because I imagine I'll be out here sooner or later. It's about six dollar socket. Yes, I could have got a thirty-six, but I, you know, specialty tools have their moments. And this also, I plan to keep buying that series of GM motors in the future. I like new cars not really that much so I just plan to buy old beaters more specifically I want to buy a GMC Yukon in the future at one point or another but right, let's talk about this joker real quick now this oh, if you ever want to know the secret of getting one of these out without breaking your fingers and destroying everything you twist them they just and give them a little pressure and they slide right out so, using our handy dandy hopper for a flashlight. So, as you can see, this has got a really shallow uh, threads to it. And that's because it's a small connector. I mean, it's deep, yes, but the threads are real low. So, I mean, you can, you can mower it up real easy. And... So basically, how this designs, and we're going to use this. So it would set on top of your sensor, and you just unscrew it out with the, the shallow thread. Which, by the way, God, they could have machined this a little better. This has burrs like no tomorrow. I understand it's a specialty tool, but I mean, a hot uh, is for six dollars. I feel like they could have spent a hot second more. Uh, you know, just machining this slightly better, like Harbor Freight sockets are better machined for this socket. I'm going to be straight out there with you. It says it's a 1 and 16 which is yes, but much shallower. Like I said, this is a very specific kind of use of socket. So if you're looking for that, for you know, the 5.3, 6.0s, those engines, this is the socket you want to replace it those sensors go bad. Like on my brother-in-law's truck, we probably replaced it, but the oil pressure was still reading. I noticed it was off the sludge, so let's do the oil pressure. Joker had like a, almost maybe two quarts out of a six quart motor, I know, right? So hopefully it's staying on top of those oil chains. But yeah, it has its moments. And I'm gonna keep this on here for convenience and also keep track of it. Z66, I hope you enjoyed this and you'll see this soon enough if you have a good one. Bye.